On this day, January 18, 1922, the municipality of San Vicente Centenario, Department of Santa Barbara, is created. Historical background of the municipality, historically, we know that back in the years of 1684 and 1685, the province of Comayagua was composed of seven parties, one of them being the party of Pencoa, which became one of the most important towns of the pre-colonial era. However, it was destroyed by a flood of the Ulua River in 1815. The survivors of this catastrophe, some became part of the hamlet that today is the city of Santa Barbara, founded in June 1825, and others went west in search of good lands that would give them security and tranquility, a place they call Los Limones, for the abundance of this citrus. Being a police station in 1888, the town of Los Limones intended to obtain its land and then become a municipality. Thanks to the initiative of Don Martin Pineda, auxiliary mayor, he managed before the government of Ponciano Leiva the legality of the land of Los Limones, and the title of these lands still exists. The lands then belong to the now extinct municipality of Marachaloa. Los Limones was also strengthened with the arrival of inhabitants of the extinct indigenous people of Machaloa, who were survivors of the cholera epidemic, which years before had hit the region. On January 18, 1922, the municipality of San Vicente Centenario was created, as it appears in the agreement of the executive power, which literally says, Tegucigalpa de C, January 18, 1922, in view of the request presented by Mr. Catalino Diaz, auxiliary mayor of the village of San Vicente, jurisdiction of the municipality of San Nicolás, Department of Santa Barbara, on September 29, contracted to request that the aforementioned village be elevated to the category of municipality with the name of San Vicente Centenario on the grounds that it has all the requirements required by law. Meaning of its name, it is named in honor of San Vicente and Centenario because a year before our country had a hundred years of independence. The first name was San Vicente de los Limones. This was a day in the history of Honduras.